Are you thinking about buying a new construction home and you're really trying to find a neighborhood that's not one of these massive master plan communities, but it's kind of a, a boutique neighborhood, but it's new. It's got amenities, but it's not the overwhelming with coordinators and all the bells and whistles, but something more simple, small town. Well, you're in luck because I'm here in Van Alstine, Texas, which is about 15, 12 to 15 minutes north of McKinney, Texas, uh, which is far north of downtown Dallas, Texas. And I'm gonna be touring two floor plans from Highland Homes here in Thompson Farms. So Thompson Farms is a boutique community. Uh, it's about gonna be, when it's completely built out, it'll be a, maybe 500 homes. Highland Homes is an iconic home builder, been building here in Texas since the 80s. They were privately owned and recently became an incredible employee owned company that is just known as one of the, the more preferred builders here in the area. And so today we're gonna look at these two floor plans. They're pretty awesome and uh, give you an idea of what kind of budget what kind of lifestyle and what kind of home you could have if you were to live in Thompson Farms here in Van Alstine, Texas. And stay till the end because um, I'm gonna show you a link where you get some inside information, insider tips on the questions that you absolutely want to ask when you're trying to choose a home builder that's right for you. You know, if this is your first time on the channel and you're just here trying to get some clarity on what kind of homes and communities are here for you, well, you've come to the right place. So subscribe right down below and make sure you ring the notification bell so you get the latest and greatest information on the incredible homes and communities that are available north of Dallas, Texas. Hi, my name is Phil Martin with the Martin Home Team and EXP Realty. My team and I do everything that's residential real estate in the towns and communities north of Dallas, Texas. That would include Cities like uh, Frisco, Texas, McKinney, Texas, Plano, Texas, Allen, Prosper, Salina, and of course here in Van Alstine, just to name a few. You know, we have been leading people through the home selling and the home buying process for a decade and just helping them move with confidence. If that's something that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, but what I like the best is right down below, schedule a face-to-face -face Zoom call let us know what you're looking for, what kind of lifestyle you wanna live, and we'll help you too to move with confidence. So let's get started here and talk about Thompson Farms. Thompson Farms is in Van Alstine, Texas, just off US 75. Uh, again, it has a pool and a cabana area, as you see behind. It's got rolling hills and lots of mature green trees all around. It's gonna be, as I said, about 500 homes when it's all said and done. Um, if you want to, the country living, but be within 15 to 20, 30 minutes of everything you'd ever want in the towns and cities north of Dallas, Texas, all the eating, all the entertainment, all the schools, all the universities, all the recreational lakes, it's right here for you, but you'll get the small town feel of Van Alstine, Texas in the deal. So we're gonna go into two of these Highland homes today, and we're gonna take a look at them. And the first one that we're going to be going into is called the Everly Floor Plan. Now, this summer, this is why you wanna make sure you have the notifications, because this summer they're gonna be opening up new phases here in Thompson Farms, where you can get homes on the 40s and the 60 foot lots. And this is the kind of home that you too could be living in on the 40s or the 50 foot lots. This is the Everly Floor Plan. This is the first model home here at Thompson Farms by Highland Homes. And the Everly Floor Plan can be a three bedroom, two and a half bath, or all the way up to a four bedroom, three bath. It starts in the high 400s and totally decked out. You're gonna be probably in the, in the low to mid 500s. 2,360 square feet, and it's going up from there. But as you come in, you'll notice you have this full length glass door. It gives you a lot of sunlight coming through. It's shaded by this huge Texas porch. That's what we like to call it. You can put some chairs out here and hang out in the shade. Let's go inside and see what the Everly has in store for us. So on the 40-foot lots, you're going to get the longer homes that are fitting on the 40-foot width. And so when we first walk in, we're going to see to the left, this is the entrance of what is going to be the garage. It's, of course, just the, the sales office now. So if we turn as we're coming out of the garage, you'll see right to the right, up front here, we have the utility room. Plenty of space. Put some extra shelves in there and a coat closet right up front. So as you enter the home, 
I like how you get a long view all the way through the back windows and into the backyard and that greenery kind of jumps into the interior spaces. Just very comforting and look at these soaring ceilings. It immediately gets very high. And you've got the eyebrow arch between the, in, in, the, in the ceiling there and the entry between the kitchen and the living area. And of course you have your living area. Lots of windows. Look at the double row of windows all the way up there. Lots of light. Let's turn left. So if you need a home office, well, the Everly will provide a home office. It's secluded mid-house, what they call it, halfway back to the house. You got a window for some light, double doors, but lots of privacy. Kind of off the beaten path. Here you have the half bath. And look at this. Talk about a linen space or storage space on the half bath. And they don't ever let any space go to waste here at Highland Homes. Check this out. Underneath the stairs, I've got more linen space and a lot of extra storage underneath those stairs, right across from the office. Like if you have office supplies, you need to pack out of the way. Imagine yourself here. You got friends and family in the living area. You've got island number one. Set a couple of people there. Coming back, you've got island number two. Lots of space, along with this great window seat. And these windows that are lining the walls in the back of the house, the full length glass door. And here in the, in the eating area, you could easily put a 110 inch table in this space, but look at all of the cabinetry that you have. That's usually the cabinet space you get in a, in a normal size house, but then you add on to here, all the way down, we're getting just a lot more cabinet space. This drop in range, nice beefy gas range. Got your deep dish, stainless steel sink, stainless steel appliances. More cabinets, look at that. More cabinets, look at that. They're just not wasting anything. Open it up, walk in pantry, and let's get back here to the owner's suite. Right here, look at that. Secluded back here at the back of the house, you walk in, they bumped out in a bay window, give you an extra 20, 22 square feet in this room. So you have sitting area, and easily get a king size bed. You got a raised ceiling. Come through the double doors. And again, you got a separate soaking tub, separate shower, right back to a ample walk-in closet, and right back out to the double vanity. Plenty of room for everybody to operate in the mornings. And of course, you got the facilities with the door back out into the primary suite. Just imagine spending time here in the primary suite in the mornings and the evenings, just relaxing. Before we go upstairs, let's step out back here and see what's on the, on the back porch. Again, the back porch is covered by roof line. Put a TV out here. But look at this yard. You could definitely put a pool back here. You got a flat ground. Look at the wraparound space. You're not really lacking for space here. Just a good looking house all the way around. Beautiful brick. It's bricked on all four sides. And what you do see exposed is really hardy board. It's a cement composite smart board. It uh, resists mildew and rot and insects and you don't gotta paint it very often. So it's incredibly efficient. Spend more time enjoying the house than you would doing DIY on the house. Let's go upstairs and see what we can find in terms of the rest of the bedrooms here in the Everly. Top of the stairs, find this great game room with a wall overlooking the area downstairs. More storage, watch this. Look at that. <laughs> Just a huge space. So we had primary suite downstairs and here we're gonna find bedroom number two. Good size closet flanked by bedroom number three. Of course, downstairs we had the study plus the primary suite. Upstairs we have those two bedrooms. And we've always got lots more. Look at the closet for linen space. And here, this is great. Walk right in to the attic space, not a big deal. 
Got a key on this door so you can keep people out of there. That's important. And of course, all bath for the bathrooms upstairs, separate door so you can shower or use the facilities while somebody is actually working their way on getting ready and the prime and in this uh, hallway bath. So that's upstairs in the Everly. Lots of room for a growing family. And again, the Everly could be a four bedroom, three bath. Here we're looking at a three bedroom, two and a half bath. Um, this one sells for the low fives on these new lots coming up and can go uh, up from there. 2,360 square feet is where you're entering this space at. But if you're looking for an entry level home in a community that's not overwhelming, it's not massive, but it's very intimate and friendly, Thompson Farms might be your best bet. Let's go next door. Take a look at the next floor plan, the Redford. So here's the next model we're going into. It's called the Redford. This home is just absolutely beautiful. These are gonna be planned on the 50 foot wide lots that are coming up this summer. I uh, gotta reach out now to get, get in line for those. They got some great lots down back up to a, a green belt with some beautiful trees that you don't wanna miss out on. But there's 16 floor plans to choose from on the 50 lots, 16 plans to choose from. And this is just one of them, the Redford. This starts at about 2,765 square feet. It could be a four bedroom, it could be a five bedroom, it can be a four bath, it can be a five bath. So this can be a pretty big home. You've got a large family or a need for lots of space, this would be the home for you. Now here, they're using the white brick, it's not painted. The white brick with a nice lighter buff mortar. You've got the Mediterranean arches on the front here. And this, this is just gorgeous, I think. This, it's like a promenade almost on a front porch. Come out here and survey the territory that is your new home, your new Highland home. Now let's get inside and see what we got going on here. You know, these are gonna start from the mid to high fives, probably get up in the sixes if you really duck them out. So look at this, they've really done a phenomenal design job. Watch this, wow. Great lighting package, nice wide hallway. And look at the natural wood floors, wide plank, just beautiful. Right to the right, we get right to it with our first bedroom. Got a walk-in closet in this bedroom. Two windows up front, nice view. Come right outside of this and you're right into first hall bath. And look at this, tile surround all the way to the ceiling. I love it when they do that. Just beautiful. Lots of honeycomb tile these days. In here, front closet. Yep, no, oh, look at this. Look at this closet. <laughs> so they're taking advantage of some space. I'm sure in the floor plans you can do other things with that space, but storage is at a premium always here in North Texas for homeowners. And here, of course, would be the entrance to our garage, so we'll turn here. And as you come out of your nice two-car garage, and you walk into the air-conditioned space, you have this spacious, very spacious utility room to the left. Open this eight-foot door, giving you the perception of lots and lots of space and height. Coat closet, and you walk into the greater space. You get this nice staircase with the wrought iron opening up, opening up the space. And again, it's a large open floor plan. And the functionality is dictated by the rugs and the way we have the furniture layout. So we have a formal dining area here. And this is a big area. You could put a huge table right here. Imagine you and your guests with the candle lights and maybe some wine, everybody laughing and having a good time. Maybe music on the TV. And <laughs> swing around here to this kitchen. The kitchen where the wonderful meal was made. You got lots of cabinetry, lots of countertop, walk-in pantry. That's a staple here if you haven't noticed yet. They've actually put some glass panel upgrades in these, but I like this nice Frigidaire Gallery drop-in gas top, cook, uh, gas cooktop. Nice beefy equipment, so you're, you can cook with style, just like a professional chef. But look at this natural wood on the cabinets and the shaker style matching the floor. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And of course, the porcelain farm sink has to die for. I can hear the ahs right now on this video. They put in a nice matching brick floor to ceiling surround on the fireplace. My gosh, 
Does this place feel comfortable or what? With the natural woods and the leather chair they have here, and just everything is so well appointed here. Look at that. And you've got this long vista down to the front door. Just doesn't get much better. Now back here, here's our exit to the outdoor. We're gonna go here first, and then we'll come back to the primary suite. But when we step out, oh, look at that. <laughs> Imagine this packed with friends and family. Maybe uh, your neighbors are here. You're having a good time. Maybe it's a 4th of July, Labor Day, Memorial Day. I'm not sure, but the TV's going. Maybe it's Super Bowl Sunday. Yard big enough, absolutely big enough for a pool. Look at that. That's just gorgeous. Um, so again, the Redford, this thing starts at about 2,700 square feet and can go up there to over 3,000 if you get lots of uh, add-ons to it, structurally speaking, from the bedrooms and the bathrooms. Let's walk through this eight-foot door into the primary suite. Look at this. Just, it just is inviting. It's warm, large, plenty of room for a sitting area, king-size bed. Come into the spa-like bath. Oh, look what they've done. They put the natural wood. This is tile on the walls, actually. Standalone tub, very classy. Mud pan shower, frameless shower glass, all the way up to the ceiling with the tile. And of course, you've got the drop sink in the middle with the drop platform in the middle. So you can sit and take care of what you're gonna take care of when you're getting ready in the morning. Oh my gosh, just beautiful. And to on this side, we've got more linen space. And on this side, the facilities, of course. And then back into this. Huge closet, tall enough so you can put the cabinets around the top again. You could put um, a dresser in the back of this closet so you can keep the bedroom nice and clean and decluttered and relaxing. Just imagine hanging out in here just when you just want to relax. It's, it's just perfect. So again, guys, let's go upstairs and see what is waiting for us up there. I love it. They put the hardwood floors up here on the second floor. And look, you can go left, open wrought iron to below, or you can go right, just, <laughs> just wide open. I love it. We'll go left. So first to the left is going to be our first bath upstairs. Oh, don't forget this. More linen closet space, always important. Here's our first bedroom upstairs. Plenty of room. Right next to the bath here. If we go straight ahead from the stairs, bathroom number two. Walking into bathroom number two, we see it's an ensuite. Has its own private bathroom with shower. <laughs> Another nook back here for a desk. Walk-in closet. Just absolutely stunning. Plenty of room for everybody. Plenty of space for everybody to have their own area. And look at this game room. You make this a study area. This could be a play area. This is definitely flex space. All, it says flex space all over it. And at the end of the trail here, you've got this incredible movie room. No windows, insulated for sound. So you can come in here and imagine hanging out with the popcorn and your favorite beverage, watching your favorite movie. I tell you what, this house, this house has everything. And when you think about it, buying this house in the high fives to the low sixes, and you're living in a boutique community, 30 minutes from really, actually about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, 25 at the tops, from everything, entertainment, socializing, uh, gosh, dining, education, everything that you'd want, because that's how far this is from Frisco, from Plano, from Allen, all the places that you've come to know and become familiar with, and that's those cities and towns that are north of Dallas, Texas. So if the Redford is something that interests you, if Thompson Farms sounds interesting, 
if Highland Home sounds like the kind of builder you'd like to explore. Van Alstein sounds like the kind of small town that you'd love to raise your family in or be a part of. Go ahead and uh, give us a call. Shoot us a text, send us an email or down below. As I always say, book a face-to-face -face Zoom call. We'd love to learn more about what you're looking for and help you get some clarity on what's available here for you within your budget, within your lifestyle, within the type of homes. And we'd love to help you move with confidence. This is Phil Martin, the Martin Home Team. Enjoy your day.